Hey, what's going on my pigeon flying friends? It's Brandon here and in today's video, I wanted to show you how to go live to YouTube, but being able to schedule your content. So let's get into this. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I've already logged into my Live Pigeon account. I'm just gonna go ahead and click connect to YouTube. From here, I'm gonna choose my account. Now it's really important that you use the right email address to connect to YouTube. This is probably our number one thing that we get hit up all the time about is, I connected my YouTube, why didn't it go live? Well, chances are you might have used the wrong email address. You thought you were going right live to the right place, but this is just something to check. The other thing that's nice about this, and we have a video about this as well, uh, which we'll put a link to, um, but making sure that you choose the correct channel. So here's what I'm trying to say about this. I just logged into this email, but if I choose this, this actually does not have a YouTube channel associated with it. Notice that underneath here, it says my email. But if I come down, see how this says YouTube? This one says YouTube, this one says YouTube. These three are the ones that I can actually go live to. So I just wanna make sure that if you're not seeing this, um, number one, it might just mean that you don't have a channel set up, which we'd recommend that you do just to make sure that you're going live to the right place. Um, but anyways, what I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and choose this YouTube channel that I have. And again, this is just confirming, yep, go ahead and allow. And all this is doing is allowing us to publish on your behalf. So now that we've connected to YouTube, you can see now I have a red box. Everything else is grayed out. That just means that they're not connected. So now that I'm actually connected to my YouTube account, if I wanted to, I could hover over this and it allows me to either switch my account or disconnect it. So for this video, we're gonna show you how to schedule a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click schedule. From here, I can go ahead and just choose, let's say I wanna have my pigeons fly on the 11th here. I can go ahead and choose 10 a.m. And then I can go ahead and click schedule. From here, I'm just gonna do my title and description. Once you've filled out your title and description, you can go ahead and click next. Now this is our final step here. It's just gonna ask us to upload our video. So you can choose to upload from your computer, from Google Drive or from Dropbox. We're integrated with both of those. Or we even have the ability from the incubator. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the incubator after this video so that it makes sense. But I've already uploaded my video ahead of time just for the sake of this video to kind of keep it shorter. I'm gonna go ahead and click on incubator and I'm gonna go ahead and choose a video that I had inside the incubator. And look at that, as soon as I click that button, it, it made the established connection between Live Pigeon and YouTube and brought us to the scheduled page. So it says success, your pigeon has been successfully scheduled. So what I want to encourage you to do is every time that you actually have a video that you have scheduled is to go ahead and click on that view post where it will then take you over and display that, yep, okay, this is the connection. This is the place that it's planning on going live. Therefore, it did work. Uh, we've had a lot of users, let's say, who have put in the wrong email address, and then it, it tries to go live, but it doesn't know where to actually make that established connection. So again, really the whole goal of this video is just to make sure that you're actually connecting the correct YouTube channel. Now, what else is cool about this is this is a red box which indicates that we are gonna be going live to YouTube. So YouTube is red. We also have like uh, different colors for all the different platforms that you can go live to. And this is showing the title and description, shows us the time that we're planning on going live, and it even has the time at which we're planning to have our departure, right? When the pigeon's going to fly. So now that we've gone ahead and scheduled this video, all we can do now is wait. What we'll do now is let's go back over to the incubator and now let's talk about what the incubator is. Now the incubator is your video library. This is where when you upload your video files, they actually kind of get temporarily stored here. And what's nice about this is this gives you the ability that you can come here and preview the video. Hi, my name is Scott Payne. You can rename the video if you want. 
You can go ahead and schedule it. You can do a lot of different things once the video file is inside the incubator. Another thing that we like is if you are working in a team environment, let's say you have a video editor, you could give them your live pigeon login. They could upload the video file into the incubator for you without having to be connected to your YouTube account or anything like that. And then when they say that it's in there and done, you can then come in here, you can play it, back to make sure that is the right video and then you can go ahead and connect to your YouTube account and then you can get this video scheduled. So that's it for this video you guys. You can see how easy it was to basically choose the time I wanted to go live. I uploaded my video file, gave it a title and description and that's it. Live Pigeon will now take care of the rest and deliver that video file for you at the time in which you scheduled it. Again, I'm excited for you guys to jump in here and test it out for yourself. And that's it for this video. Until next time.